Hi, Faith Box family. Lacey here with you on day six of the month of victory. And um, today's scripture comes from 1 Corinthians 15, 57. But thank God he gives us victory over sin and death through our Lord Jesus Christ. When Jesus secured victory over sin and death, he didn't secure it just for himself. Rather, Jesus' victory is something that all of his followers receive and partake in. We too have been given victory over sin and death because Jesus broke the curse of sin and death. We know, we know that this temporal life we live here on earth is not the end of the road. We have been promised and granted eternal life, which means the stains of sin and the consequences of death have no eternal bearing on us. None of this would be possible or available to us apart from Jesus. Others may promise or offer something that seems like victory, but Jesus is the only one who has de demonstrated that he keeps his promise. And I just wanted to go ahead and read to you that whole section in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, um, verses 50 through 58, because I just feel like the whole thing is so powerful. Now I declare to you, brothers, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed. In an instant, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. For the perishable must be clothed with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality. When the perishable has been clothed with the imperishable and the mortal with immortality, then the saying that is written will come to pass. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast and immovable. Always excel in the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in, lo in the Lord is not in vain. And I felt like this went so well with our um, quote yesterday um, that I read, um, saying we just need to stand in the victory already secured for us, because in verse 58, right after that verse 57, it says, be steadfast and immovable. Um, Jesus has already won the victory for us. Jesus took care of all of that on the cross. And then as we just celebrated, you know, rose again three days later and conquered death. And I'm just, I love this month. I'm so glad that um, we they chose victory for this month. It's just um, so great. So um, I hope you enjoyed the devotional as much as I did, and I'll see you again later this month. God bless.